in this podcast, you will listen to my special phone call to Stephen Kalonzo Musioka because this podcast is meant to speak to Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. 72 hours after Ray Lodinga endorsed the man from Takuro, he later changed and made a U-turn on that statement with pundits arguing that it was it would create a wedge within Azmilo Moja. Well, some also argue that Nyanza MPs called Raila in some underground meeting to recall that move. But again, the biggest question that Raila supporters have been asking and I've been talking about is this is from this soundbite. When you stop being uh, Hassan, so much, we'll make uh, progress. Hassan, Hassan, um, let's let's don't, don't get angry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, Hassan, Hassan. That's why you'll never be governor of Mombasa. I can give it to you. <laughs> That's why now you'll this never is be going president of Kenya. I can give it to you. I, I, I think, think, I think I should, you should have to my session. Uh, but Hassan, I kindly request that you 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 contain yourself, Hassan. Hassan, Hassan, uh, kindly. I mean, uh, let's let me. Hassan, Hassan, kindly, kindly, kindly. Let's let's um, stop attacking right co now. Co-chair, co co-chair. I picked that is the soundbite of Hassan Omar engaging with Kalonzo and telling uh, the country that you will never be the president. But the reality is that Kenya is warming up to clamor to change the regime. Tulijaribu moyo tukifikiria tu anandi wako na uongozi hakuna. Tumejaribu ruto sasa tena. Sasa hii ndio kuharibu zaidi. Afadhali moyo. Sasa hata tuone ni vitu gani yenyewe watafanyia hapa. Hata afadhali moyo wafufue moyo asimame kwa nini? Afadhali hata moyo arudi ama kibaki. Je, hmm? sisi tunaumia? Hmm? Kila kitu iko juu. Sukari ikuwa chakula iko juu sana. Hmm? Watoto kusomesha akiongeza leo kesho anaenda China akiongeza leo kesho anaenda America sasa tutajua ukweli kwa wapi sasa president afanye chenye anata tumemwachia uwezo wake hizi alituambia akipita kura kila kitu itaenda chini yeye mwenyewe ndiye alisema sio sisi na watu wakampigia kura zazina anapandisha vitu anapanda ndege anaenda China kukula chura na sisi huko nyuma tunapaki tunahangaika kama tungejua kama tungejua kama tungejua Tukua naambia vijana wacha tupike huyu mzee kura huyu kijana kura tukiwacha mzee kumbe tulikuwa tunachimbia and you can see the voices that are there i have decided to change uh, i have decided to um, uh, design this phone call to Kalonzo Musyoka this podcast is the phone call to Kalonzo Musioka in five, uh, break it down in five distinct questions that I want to answer. And I know that anyone who is listening to this podcast has also been thinking about these questions. Let me tell you, the first question is, why Kalonzo Musioka must be in the ballot? And my reasons are two. The first reason, in 2027, a Zemir presidential candidate will join William Ruto succession. Apart from planning to grab power from Ruto, the other uh, objective is to join William Ruto succession. And then you need to remember that William Ruto's succession starts in 2027, but there is no guarantee that it can end in 2027. It can start in 2027, but it can end in 2032. What am I saying? You need a candidate that can first beat Ruto, and if not beating Ruto, that candidate can be molded for 2032. And that is why Azimula Umoja must try another experiment. 
Rail Udinga cannot be in the ballot for 2032. I know that dynamics are different. But it's also, 2027 is also an opportunity for Steve to know. And for all the strategists to know, even this country, how many votes can Kalonzo Musioka garner when he's a presidential candidate? Now, with the current dynamics around Rail Odinga. Let's have an idea. And that will give him a bearing. If he can get votes to beat William Ruto, well and good. If he cannot beat Ruto, but at least moving to, moving to 2032, he knows what he's made of. That is important. The second reason why Kalonzo must be in the ballot is because Kalonzo ticket introduces a different accommodative design. Why? The reason why Kalonzo wants Raila, Raila wants Kalonzo is, and if you listen to Raila's statement is, he's been a good man, he stood with me, and they've supported me across the last 15 years. And remember, it's not only Kalonzo Msioka. Even Coast has been supporting Raila, and even Western has been supporting Raila Dinga. And one question that has been emerging is, what is in it for us? That is the narrative that this lady from Turkana was talking about. Kombo, we have supported you for long, but what have you given us? So, Raila has an opportunity to support others. And what I would want, the reason why I bring in Kalonzo ticket is, with Kalonzo ticket, you can go to Western and get a deputy. Can you pick Eugene? That one you have solved the Western question. We have supported you, you have given us a deputy. With Kalonzo ticket, you will go to Mount Kenya and get a deputy uh, and you get a prime, uh, a prime cabinet secretary. With Kalonzo ticket, you can still go to the coast and give them even, uh, you can give them that prime minister post if the Mount Kenya dynamics do not favor Kalonzo. And you go to Nyanza and give Nyanza speaker. You have a ticket with you sitting aside. Number three. Kalonzo must be in the ballot for Raila supporters to get a new reason, a new fresh hope. In 2027, it will be difficult to convince Raila supporters that we are going to grab power. No. But with Kalonzo Musioka, it's a different hope. So you need to tell as the new supporters another reason of going to the ballot through another candidate. Second question. Raila Dinga, is Raila Dinga endorsement a selling narrative? The answer is no. <clears throat> and that is well answered by Wambua. We are not going to be waiting until that last year or a few months into an election because that's where we miss it all the time. We need to begin to prepare ourselves as a coalition in good time uh, to to capture the presidency of this country why is Raila Odinga endorsement not a complete selling narrative i think it's enough to praise and say you have stood with me but it's not a guarantee that that will translate to convincing power in public kalonzo must remember moi did not support kibaki despite the fact that kibaki was his closest buddy in fact he supported Uhuru Kenyatta. And despite and supported Uhuru Kenyatta and even dropped Kinaraila, who had a handshake with him after 1997 elections. And that's why Raila, Saitoti, Kalonza and the team walked out to form the Rainbow Coalition. Kibaki did not openly endorse Uhuru. In fact, you'll remember that Mount Kenya Mafia were even supporting Mudavadi. That's where the question of body money came from. They weren't supporting the body. And closer home, Uhuru Kenyatta did not support his deputy William Ruto. Uhuru Kenyatta supported Raila Odinga. <laughs> and that is why Kalonzo must start going to Nyanza himself, yourself. I don't think it's rocket science. 
There are many events going on there. There are some church fundraisers, some school events, some bursary. You start going there, carry with the other 100,000, some 50,000, start, start doing something there. Because you need to endure him, yourself to the voters. If you depend on Raila Odinga, and by 2032 you realize that Raila Odinga cannot campaign, so what will happen? Yes, he's a human being. If you depend, then you realize, oh, it's not possible for one reason or the other. So, so you need to take yourself to Nyanza. You cannot sit and wait for that endorsement. Number three. Do Kalonzo Sioka have head start against Ruto? Because that is, that is another argument that many have been asking that uh, Kalonzo do not have the guts against William Ruto. And I don't even know why uh, people are doubting that. And I want to answer that by singling out, I want to show you five counties to convince you that Kalonzo ticket is not a weak ticket. And that is what I wanted to debunk here. I know quite a number of us who are asking me um, about that. I wanted to look at Machakos County. Last presidential results, Raila Odinga got 304,000 votes. And then William Ruto got 101. With Kalonzo Musieka in the ballot, this margin will go down. Yes. So that, he has a head start. He will get a more leverage than that. And I picked those counties because those are his place. Kalonzo was able to convince his voting constituency to vote for Raila three consecutive elections. To see Danganya that Raila alienda kachukua kura za ukambani peke yake? No. Kura za ukambani came through Kalonzo Musioka. That's the gospel truth. And that is why in the last general election, there was a push to make sure that Kalonzo supports Raila Dinga. So with that margin, is going, to, is going to get the numbers. So that is why the convincing power of Raila for Luo Nation to support Kalonzo is higher than that of Kalonzo asking Ukambani to support Raila. I think that's explanatory. That's one county where Kalonzo can improve the margin. The other margin Kalonzo can easily improve is Kitui. Kitui is his home county. Raila Odinga got 235,000 and William Ruto got 89,000. <laughs> Look at that. How could Ruto get 89,000 in his own constituency, in his own county? And with that, that's another margin he can improve. I want us to go straight to that's county number two. County number three is the county 001, the county of Mombasa. I'm trying to look at it here. I don't know I'm going to get it. I'm looking at county 001. The county of Mombasa is also another one that is very interesting. County of Mombasa. Raila Odinga got 161 and William Ruto got 113, a difference of 47,000. With in Mombasa County, apart from after the Mombasa locals, natives, the other three largest tribes are Kamba number one, Luya, and Luo. Kamba, Luo, Kikuyu, the Luya. They are very few. So with Kalonzo and it, he can improve on this margin. And remember, it's backing of Kalonzo and Raila. And if you compare, you realize the votes that Raila got in Mombasa on Kalonzo Raila ticket are more than Kalonzo Karua ticket. <laughs> Let's go to Meru. Meru borders Kitui. And they are somehow close. And they cross. Raila, 103, Ruto, 398. This is a margin that Kalonzo can improve. I want you to look at Transoia. And I've picked Transoia with a projection of picking Eugene as his deputy. Raila got 132, William Ruto 116. Now, let me tell you, if you get from 
if you get the backing of uh, uh, of Oparanya, backing the um, Yujira Mano to be Raila's running, to be uh, Kalonzo's running mate, then this will even cancel what Tuto gets in Bungoma, even if you don't get to Etangola. So that answers the question that uh, Kalonzo has some head start. Looking at the one factor here is Ruto cannot add his votes. The votes can just increase. The votes cannot increase. The best they can do is remain where they are or they reduce because the burden of incumbency. Can Kalonzo destabilize Uda? That's the other question. Because for Ryan Odinga to, go, to get the 2022 presidential contest, he had to destabilize the marriage between Ruto and Uhuru. And he got his way. So Kalonzo must be able to get either Wetangola or Mudavadi, but I wish more of Mutangola, then get a chunk of leaders from Mount Kenya, the ones that are disgruntled. He can... How about... Can Kalonzo excite Mount Kenya? Raila, and I think I want to answer this question by Kalonzo versus Raila. Raila's name has been used to create phobia in Mount Kenya and to create a perception that, you know what, this is, I don't know, you know, this is a ghost. So when you have Kalonzo Musioka, you disarm the juvenile politicians that thrive on anti-Raila venom. First term elections are very complex. That's one thing I want us to agree. In 2007, Raila flogged Kibaki. Outright. You know all those things. Raila Lishina Kibaki. And that was the first term elections. The first term election of Uhuru Kenyatta in 2017, for the history of this country, election was nullified. 2027 is end of first term for William Ruto. If Azimio Laumoja can put their house in order, they can give Ruto very tough election in the history of this country. It is possible. And I think I wanted to debunk the notion that Kalonzo is a lightweight. I don't think so. I wish someone shared this podcast with him. Go to Nyanza. If it will mean you will fall out with Raila, because of going to Nyanza, so be it. Yes. So be it. The Nyanza region, Raila supporters, need to vote for William Root, for, for Kalonza. And that is, I don't think that's debatable. There should be no debate on who is the candidate. There should be no debate about it. If it is not Raila, the closest that has a block... All those politicians in Kenya Kwanzaa, you cannot give Martha Karo. Martha Karo still doesn't have a guaranteed block. Who else? Jeremiah Kyori doesn't have a guaranteed block. The only politician with a building block in Azimio, apart from Raila Odinga, is Kalonzo Musioka. That is my phone call. I want to read your feedback here. Tell me. I know many people are asking me, Kevin, you're not doing about it. I've done it. I want to read your podcast. I want to read your comments here. Santini.